they did pastors and sex workers a few days a few days ago that's in 15th of august 2018 dude your penis has not been socialized yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't know how to act subtitles french what the I, I can see pastors and sex workers having like more of a contentious conversation than virgins. In the left hand light, can I have my sex workers? Okay, I got a PLB bag. Right hand light, my religious leaders. So our mobile viewer thought 2018 is now. I will say a statement. If it is true for you, walk forward. If it's not true, do not step forward, stay where you are. Sex work can have positive effects. Yeah, it does sex work yeah. can have a positive effect? Are you serious? Like in a, <laughs> in a society where we're not having conversations about sex, like of course people are leaning on someone that can guide them. Yeah. And like that means porn. That means sex like workers. that means sex Strippers. workers. Like, so ahead. many customers right. come into the club and they're just like they just want to talk sometimes. Yeah, I they remember totally that just about stripping. Talk. Yeah, they so want to talk true. about sex connect. with someone and connect with someone yeah. and talk about their sex and life. Maybe. Be like yeah, and be like open about it and like explore maybe like the yeah. things that they can't explore with yeah. you know someone else. A lot of people do look up to us and lean on us for assurance or some kind of something to hold on to because maybe they are that lonely in life that they don't have interactions with people. I literally have a fan that emails me every single holiday and I was like, oh my God, this guy's actually someone that's a little bit like emotionally or physically um, underdeveloped. That's amazing that sex work, my sex work, gives him something to look forward to. And that's what's sad is people don't think of people like that that are on the skirts of society. They also love sex and they want that interaction as well. Even with like within marriages, like you need to learn different techniques. You need right. to learn like how to role play. You need to like, that's why marriages fail because you are not happy. You're not having sex. Like sex is like- Why was it an emo mode? What the fuck happened? Uh oh. I just peed for like a second. Why? What the fuck? Check your blood sugar or your prostate. You have frequent urination. Dude, you are a psycho. I've been live for four hours and I've peed twice, dude. And I'm drinking diuretics like crazy. I'm drinking caffeine. Oh my God. <laughs> this is straight up the worst part about Twitch streaming. I swear to God. I love, I love this chat. I love this community. But like... Motherfuckers who calculate like my pee breaks to tell me I have like a, a, a problem. Like, why are you backseating what I do with my dick, dude? Amazon micromanager motherfucker. He's like, you, you're taking too much time off task today. A great way to connect and meet people. In my own personal experience with porn, it just tweaks my chemistry, man. Like, to where I'll be walking down the street and see someone be like, why isn't that girl taking her shirt off? Like, that's supposed to be what happens now because I'm- it's missing sex education. Yeah. Right I, there. Well, like, I, I don't think so. For me, it's that my mind gets used to a simplicity of it all. And for me, sex is available. I'm married. I'm married to a great woman that's willing to, to party. And so like, it's not for- Party? And, <laughs> Drugs? And, and she, uh, and with, with, party that's with what my party body. Is like. <laughs> Um, and so, so for me, it's not, oh, I got to figure out how to get this. Like it's, it's there. And that's the only place it's ever been for me. I don't, maybe it's, it's like, um, drinking is totally fine for some people, not an alcoholic. Maybe I'm the alcoholic with porn that just, it tweaks my mind in a negative way that. Oh, brother. That is a bit of a self-report. Not even a bit. That's just a major, that's a self-report. It's just nothing but. It, it makes me go, man, I, I don't want to be thinking about these people I'm encountering like that. I just want to be able to look at them as humans and instead of like thinking about people and how they can provide for me. So I feel, I feel like that the extreme frustration is the demonization of porn without actually offering an actual alternative that kids or adults of, of any kind can look towards for real sexual education. You can sit here and talk all kinds of mess about porn and say that it's bad and it's damaging, but what is actually 
um, enriching. There's right. nothing. Any sexual behavior is okay with consent. And let's go ahead and like get out of the way. Like we're right. not talking about children. No. We're not talking about people that cannot have consent. Like, or animals because they cannot give consent. I have totally. some people that want to do some of the nastiest, freakiest things, and I'm not into it. But being a sex worker, like I love being able to do that for them. You Bye -bye. know, like I like to be put in those situations where I'm now like the one that might be uncomfortable and have to figure out why I'm feeling this way and mm. um, how I can come out doing a good job. Finesse I will this. say I'm interested to see you sitting up here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why am I up here? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you up here? Yeah, you know, I wanted to walk up because I've counseled couples that are like married for a long time and sex is a problem, like a huge problem. I, I do this like inventory sheet like oral sex, yes, yes, you know, no, no, and right, and, it, and whenever we go to the butt what the fuck? Yo, that's some, that's a freaky pastor, bro, straight up. My man's got a spreadsheet, homie. Yo, when that shit is buttoned up all the way up to the neck, you know that homie is a pastor or a fucking hipster, okay? And nothing in between. And this guy is a hipster pastor, okay? He's like, I got a spreadsheet right here. Uh, what do you like to do? Okay, anal play. Uh, uh, it says here you are into hot wifing. Okay, very cool. Play? Like, the guy is like, fuck. No. Yeah. And it's like, why? Because it's yeah. like, I'm not, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm just like... That's, I actually that's know a lot of men that that's like it. Yeah. right there. That's yeah, I mean, guys can't even take their own partner sometimes just being like, I want to, yes, mess with your junk. Hello. My standard of sex, um, I feel like I've surrendered to, to God, to my understanding of God and the scriptures as best as I understand them. And so for me, if there was consensual, like you said, if there's 12 people, like that's not okay for the standard of life that I have like said, I'm going to live by this standard of holiness and righteousness. That's not a judgment on anyone else. That's me saying that sex, even if it was consensual, I don't think would be okay. If somebody came to my church and said, hey, we want to start swinging, I would say that is going to destroy marriages, man. And that's a high ethic in my church. No. Do you have any, yeah, do you have any example of that, destroying marriages? Uh, I actually have is it, counseled people through is divorce because, from affairs. Is it because of their like religious shame? like that they're holding on to, maybe? You'd have to ask them specifically. I don't remember it being shame, but um, adultery. Like but adultery in affairs is lying. Yeah, that's not that's, cheating. That's, that's bad. That's not consenting. And that's yeah. cheating, yeah, because <laughs> the other person that's being lied to is not consenting to the third party being a part. Young Mormons have so much. Oh, Heifer Wolf is back with a fire, okay? Back with a fire since yesterday. Young Mormons have so much anal sex. Had anal sex two years before regular sex because of that keck W. Everyone was only in here to fucking blast off, okay? And nothing else. I am a degenerate. Yeah, we know, dude. <laughs> Part of that relationship. That's, that's cool. The standard that, we, that I come at it from, and you guys can say that you disagree with the standard, but when the standard is that I believe God says this sex is for this couple, this married couple, then when we step outside of that, we can, we can go, so well, what about it, this? What about so this? So do people that aren't married not deserve sex? You know what? Well, that, according to the Bible, it's a gift from God, so no. Um, that question but again, marriage is, in the is, Bible is literally, about quite literally, so like, why people are desperate to yeah. get married and rush into marriages it's and get into thing. bad marriages because they feel that sex is only sanctified through marriage or whatever, okayed, and they are married to whoever and they have whatever kind of sex. Or they get cheated on. That's a really sad scenario. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not for anything. Not everybody, you just but said. certain yeah. people, you know? Yeah. My hopes is that we finally start living as a nation and don't put Christian values above human values. Yeah. Because are we somehow, like honestly as a human, as a society, not philosophically, like it doesn't have to be a new religion, but just philosophically shift our mentality forward from this old book? <laughs> There's a lot of assumptions happening right now. Um, I resonate so much with this idea of why are we going off of this book? Heck yeah, I'm right there with you. Sometimes I read stuff and I'm like, holy moly, I need to exegete that passage. I need to understand what that means because if I'm going to teach on this, I better know what the heck I'm talking about.
if they don't understand the culture at the time of the audience that was being spoken to or written to, then it can be taken out of context. And so there's a lot of study that goes into it. But with that, the statements that you're making just in the past couple minutes are really blanket statements of let's just throw out this entire thing because it's devaluing my work or it's coming against. And though I would agree, if you look at it at face value, 100%. Romantic connections make sex better. Personally? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, some of the best sex I had is like, I don't know who this one is. <laughs> I'm so surprised by you two. Romantic connection makes sex better. Damn, dude. She's like, no. Unacceptable. That's why I said what I said, where I was like, you know, long-term committed relationships can uh, foster really good sex uh, in a lot of instances because good sex comes from being able to communicate and being comfortable around with your family. Well, what the fuck with your family? What am I saying? Sorry, I'm tweeting right now at Ludwig. That was a weird fucking thing I just said. Hold up. With your, uh, with your uh, girlfriend or your partner? I mean, your wife is your family, but that's not what I meant. Um, with your partner, but that's precisely why I said that, um, like you can have incredible, incredible fucking sex with a uh, random stranger as well for is acting up right now. Yeah, no, we've watched too much Mormon content, <laughs> sex between a man and his family. Now I see why Murat ran away earlier. <laughs> uh, see, I, I, I do have the C word pass boys. Always. No, I was too busy doing this while I was uh, trying to give you a hot take and reading his like fucking reply to this and let me know how many family members you want to bring and I'll hook you up while also posting this under Ludwig's, uh, under Ludwig's tweet about reply with hashtag mogul Christmas and link your Amazon wishlist and I'll see what I can do. And I just, you know, you know how the fucking ADHD brain works. Shut up. I did a guy for sex life was the reason I ended it. Maybe it was my partner, but he didn't just want to do anything anymore. Last year we were really weren't intimate despite the every time for me. Those who date someone for your life who actually have a sex life are lucky. Having someone who completely stopped having interest in you and tells you they love you is the worst. It happens, but you know, that that partner was not fulfilling you. They didn't put the hashtag. Fuck, you're right. Okay, let's get back to this. Sex better. Yeah, that feels very but universal. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I love having a discussion. On Can you get some ACE content lined up? No. Okay. No. Not every time we talk about fucking sex, do we have to talk about asexuals as well. Okay. And sex about sex with people that maybe have had, not even maybe, tons more sex than me because I've only ever had sex with one person. Like, that's it. And we... Ooh. We've gotten like, like good at each like, other, like but that's it. I don't understand. Wesley, hang in there, bud. <laughs> hang in I don't there, man. I understand what's being said right now. Come on. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. And so there has been in my marriage um, transactional sex, just like, hey, man, I, I need to, I need to have some love right now. And then there's been like, we what the fuck? It's just like, hey, man, can you suck my cock real quick? Hey, pal. Hey, pal, come here, come over here. Give me a little, give me a little bleed, <laughs> give me a little uh, blow job, you know? We go away for the weekend and there's notes and there's gifts and, and it's better in that context for me. So no proper ace wife's representation wife's in here. I've Dude. had a lot of partners and I just, I don't know. It just hasn't been as satisfying compared to having it in the context of my marriage. Sex is better because it's in the context of like this person that won't leave me <laughs> like she's just loyal committed and we get to do this thing called sex first thing that came to my mind and now it makes sense <laughs> why you don't want to watch porn because you've only had sex with, with the one, one person, person. so That's like of course you don't want to watch it because the penis has a mind of its own i want no to wonder watch porn. you watch porn and then you look Are at people you and you can't not porn. your penis has not been socialized <laughs> yeah. Like a dog or say, a child. I will say I think it's absolutely and it doesn't know remarkable how to act. that you have done that because that is a, a whole nother level of 
commitment that I'm never willing to go down, yeah, you know? Yeah. I have had sex with partners where I have literally looked into their eyes and have like felt like that, that thing that is talked about, like that connection, that bonding of like the souls. I've cried even while, you know, having sex. But to say that it has to be romantic for it to be better, I think is being overzealous. I would prohibit my child from doing sex work. As an adult child? As an adult, yes. What, what, can, sorry, can you use another word besides prohibit? I would not be okay with my child doing sex work. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> my mind was doing the same thing yours was, prohibit. What, like, what's that mean? Disown? No, I wouldn't disown. Not love them? Absolutely not. Um, all I would do is just say, it's, it's not where I would want you to go. That's not what I would want you to do. It'd be hard for me because of my own view of sex as being a sacred thing and in my own personal world, not wanting it to, to be a show for others. So when two people have sex, there's a soul tie that is created. Our bodies are you know, emotional, spiritual, physical, and so is sex. You know, it's, I, I give people this example. It's like if you take two pieces of wood and you glue them together and then you try to pull them apart. Will they come apart? Yeah, if you're strong enough, they'll come apart. But there's still going to be glue or pieces of wood on both sides. And that's, that's what I would explain or kind of define as a soul tie. There's always a piece of that person oh, with them. And that is, a, that is outside of religion. That is just a belief that I see in, the, in humanity. To me, my heart would be sad for my child. Um, I would be burdened. My heart would be burdened for them. <laughs> the glue has come. Um, I think the reason why there is so much fear with someone going into the sex industry, are they going to uh, get mixed in with the wrong crowd? Is there going to be drugs? It's a lot of fear based. And my parents tell me all the time that I'm changing people's views in that small town in Texas because now they can see someone who does sex work and is a porn star and is a family man and is loving and is spiritual and holiday? yeah <laughs> so I, it makes sense to me why you wouldn't want that and i would love some dental too because sex work is real work damn yeah. it and i need to be compensated right fairly <laughs> <laughs> I so, mean, do you think you want to go down on everybody listening? <laughs> <laughs> that is a job, baby. I know. Right, right. That I'm is good. a job. I'm good. Gotta keep uh, it looking nice. So, like, obviously, we've come from a context where we're like, we think of like that dark, like pimps just beating up like their hoes and things like that, just the drugs, the sex, right? Like, for, to the best of your knowledge, like, what percent of the sex industry is that? I think we have to then ask the same question, what percentage of your industry is not truly living their truth and their life? And are they sleeping with women or boys? Let's take the Catholic Church, for example. Like, l let's really have this conversation. I mean, of course there's people that are bad in any, in any industry, in and, any position. And if I, I wouldn't know that percentage because I don't associate with those kind of people, yeah. regardless of where I'm at. I, if, even if I'm out at, at a bar having drinks, I'm not over there doing ki 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 and staying up all night getting fucked and doing you know math now there's some porn stars that might be doing that but oh my god these people don't know what the fuck he's talking about dude my man say kiki oh my god <laughs> uh, doing meth law i mean this man is 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 a gay man he knows what he's talking about <laughs> that's yeah. not for me i have a sexually satisfying life <laughs> am i having the best 100 percent sex that i want no because threesomes aren't happening orgies aren't happening <laughs> Um, me getting to hook up with the people that I'm fantasizing about at any given moment isn't happening. My ideal sex life is this all ends in an orgy. That's my ideal sex life, okay? <laughs> That's reality. So am I living my best 100% sex life? No, because I'm truly held back like 70% of the time and I only get to have as much as is consensual. <laughs> <laughs> Porn has released me from a lot of my insecurities. It has um, opened my eyes. It has finally made a good looking. Yes, honey, the NYPD shut down the party. Let's
Let's have a kiki. I want to have a kiki. Lock the doors. Hey, let's have a kiki. There you go. Um, I'm sorry for trying to talk politics earlier. I will do better. He's giving me Glee flashbacks. What the fuck? This was on Glee. I can't believe Twitch said you're not white. I mean, this is gay culture. K Kiki and Scissor Sisters is, is LGBT culture, not fucking white culture. Kiki is a get together where you do gossip and stuff and can turn into uh, a sexual orgy of sorts. Man marginalized to see a different point of view. So I used to be terrified to speak up and have a voice and to say what it is that I want or need. And now I am equipped with knowing how to do it, knowing how to approach it. And yeah, my life is completely happy and I'm having a lot of sex. Sometimes, mostly with myself. <laughs> you know, just a little handy handy. I stepped forward because I feel like, I mean, my, once again, I got it, just me and my wife, but she brings the heat and we I have- I love that. And we, uh, we I have fun. I love that you were just like, yeah. don't even apologize for it. Just yeah. be like, yeah. she's it. Yeah. yeah. She's, That's why she's down and, and Hell yeah. what do you want to do? Oh Where are we at? That's and, all you need is a down ass woman. That's all yeah. it takes, bro. I and see why you're so loyal. I can tell you this, I can tell you this, because we're very modest people. When she sees this, she'll be like, there's half of her that will be like, uh, uh, yeah. and then there's another half she'll be like, I do. Yeah, you were giving her queen, you were giving her queen acknowledgement, you so, know? So that's why I stepped over here. That's it. That was wonderful, <laughs> guys. This was great. Well done. So sweaty.